Is this how they do it? Hey guys, so I have officially moved into my very own apartment. I finally got things moved in. I got the fridge, the washing machine, and the mattress. But as you can see, I was stingy and I didn't pay for the installation part. So they've literally just dumped it into my apartment. And then later on, I have a dining set that I'm gonna pick up. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for $50 off some random dude. I'm so exhausted. So I need to like get some fruits, nap, and maybe look a bit more presentable. I know the camera is like making my skin look clear, but I am breaking out. My mom was so cute. She got me like little pots and stuff and then she put it um, in news, wrapped it in newspaper and then she got like little containers of like salt and sugar and stuff. So it was really cute of her. And I put it on this level because it is within my height. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. I don't know where the cord is for the fridge. Yeah. I'm gonna go nap now, so I'll check back in a bit. chairs to fit into this tiny car oh my god I look like a mess this is my moving situation um I finally brought everything up from my car. Oh my god, it was such a hassle trying to find parking. I brought up 85% of all my stuff. I'm gonna make dinner and I'm gonna make pasta and I look horrible. Oh my lord. I am starving. Ah, oh, this week is tough. <laughs> happening in my new apartment finally I've been here for like a week and a half now and things are settling down for me so I woke up today and I literally edit it all day the other thing is I don't have internet at the moment so I actually have to go downstairs take advantage of the free Wi-Fi and I'm gonna upload some of my videos I thoroughly enjoy being on my own be honest <laughs> I love living at home but sometimes you just have to you know have your own space at the moment I am just needing some sort of income so I'm just teaching kids online and I'm doing pharmacy here and there things will work out I have hope still so I will still hopefully work out whatever it is that I want to do but I think I would like to venture out and try something new so I really wanted to spark some motivation and some new interest in life so I thought the best way was to move out and to like you know hustle and to try to do things um, and at the moment I'm really liking editing I used to not really like to edit but now I've kind of found like a simpler more streamlined approach to ed ed editing so I think I really like it now and I'm really happy about that. I don't wear foundation anymore. I wear like a mineral powder foundation and that has SPF. So for me, I feel like that's better because it doesn't clog my pores. I actually feel like I look a lot more rejuvenated ever since moving out. I feel like a lot of people have been asking me, how's life moving out by myself? And honestly, it's great. I love it. 
but I do feel like I have more clarity. I'm still very much lost in life, but at least I am not pressured at the moment. I have this external pressure to really go back into pharmacy and really just run the rat race, but at the moment I'm trying to explore and do other things. Modeling didn't work out for me because of COVID. I had these great plans of traveling around Asia and maybe things will pick up, or where life would take me, right? But at the moment, I'm like stuck here back home. I decided to move out because I wanted to be able to say, you know, like I moved back home, but it's not the end of you know, my journey of exploration, of trying to find where I want to go in life. And I think one of the best ways of doing that is to be on your own and to really, I guess, struggle, which I am struggling a lot. Doesn't that feel good having your own place and a bunch of dishes to still wash? <laughs> so welcome to my kitchen. It is a mess right now. I don't have anything to dry my dishes, so I just use the dishwasher down below, like the true Asian that I am. I decided I'm gonna make bolognese, uh, not really bolognese, but whatever this concoction of bolognese is. I sometimes get too greedy with the pasta, so I have to like stop myself because I literally cannot eat too much pasta. Staying home, first meal of the day, and it is 2.30. Oh my gosh. Friend's gonna come over soon and we're just gonna chill, probably make food and then yeah, that's it. Mm. I can never resist my thoughts. Mmm, mm. I like this one. Guys, guess what? I finally have internet. I don't have to go downstairs anymore to use the free local Wi-Fi that is open to the public which is much faster than my mobile data because I've been using my uh, data to upload videos and it has just been like uh, a nightmare but I finally did it and I'm finally having lunch and it's 3 p.m. I guess that kind of just ends my whole moving in situation I was trying to like document myself moving in and it has just like spanned over a period longer than I thought but I guess this is it um, I don't really have an outro for this video because I have no idea what I'm even documenting at this point but 
I kind of vaguely know. But this was my whole moving in process. It was a bit of a nightmare. No, it wasn't a nightmare. It was a bit more eye-opening than I anticipated, but it was good. I got the full adult experience and it wasn't very glamorous. I think I'm just gonna end the video here. So I hope you enjoyed my moving in video. I'm gonna finish my lunch and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you next time. Last bite's yours. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels good to eat.